Hello, I'm Derek Tebbers. This is your Euro Truck Simulator 2 mod spotlight. Uh, I would say I've been rolling in this man TGX double XL, but I have not. Uh, we bought this on stream back in December and I never drove it because I was busy delivering Christmas presents. So I never actually drove this truck, but we're gonna trade it in anyway. Stream people, I'll buy the truck again first stream or something. I'll figure out how I can do that. Uh, but we're gonna go buy our new mod truck. The cool thing is these uh, these mod trucks are, when we go visit select dealer, it's so much better than it used to be with this new patch. So we're gonna travel to Stuttgart. It is another Mercedes Benz that we are going to be working with. There we go, Mercedes Benz 1519. Let's customize it. It's cute looking, it's so cute. All right, so we have the normal, and we have the normal called aerial flow. Oh, look at that, we get a we get a little thing going on, that's cool. Uh, we get one chassis selection, 140 horsepower, wow. And we can go all the way up to a 380. I'm gonna go with a 140 because I just feel like it. Uh, we get a power shift G85-6. I'm betting that's a six speed. Um, let's see. Wow, there's a huge selection. Here's a Spicer PSD0205-18R. I'm betting that's an 18 speed with, um, with the uh, exhaust brake on it. Uh, should we get that? We only have 140 horsepower, so we probably don't need something quite that crazy. Uh, MB PowerShift G85-6. Oh, wow. There is one below that. Avoid DIWA D884.5. I don't even, I bet you that's a five speed. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, let's pump this party up. Let's go with a ZF Ecolife 6 AP1700. B. Awesome. Interior. We have an interior. Good. Color. Let's go with perfect white and we'll change that in the, actually, you know what? For the same price we can get, oh, bleh. let's just go with perfect white. We'll change this in the paint shop afterward because accessories. We have accessories, a standard plate. Really? That's, that's kind of, that's kind of cool. I don't know why it's up there, but all right. Uh, let's put chrome. Let's let's be crazy. Let's put chrome instead of pintura. What's this? Step plate. Is there really a step plate on that part of the truck? Oh, okay. So stock is nothing. We got one whip, one whip. That's, oh, a little bit less whip. And we got twin whip. Let, let's roll with the twin whip. Yeah. Tires, standard. You know what? We're just gonna roll some absolute furies on here. Cause, phew, why not? <laughs> and interior, there is nothing. Doesn't appear to be. No, there is nothing. We have cassettes. <laughs> some of you don't even know what those are, but we have cassettes. <laughs> I noticed that this is not a cassette deck though. I mean, it's got the play, but where do you put the, Never mind. Never you mind. So here we go. This is going to be our rolling rig. Another classic Mercedes Benz. 109,000 <laughs> euros. Oh, it's a classic. So we got to pay classic rates. Uh, I am going to receive 46,000 euros on my trade-in, so let's do it. Oh my goodness. And here we go. Here is our beautiful new truck. <laughs> it looks like there almost should be mirrors on the, uh, on the, the sticks coming out there. See them? I think there should be mirrors there. I'm just, I mean, maybe not, but Don Tonho is what it says on the top of my truck for reasons of I don't know why. The modeling looks really good. 
I will say there's no shadow except for the tires. The test will be when we pull out into the sunlight battle. All right, we are inside our truck. I am in neutral. Everybody ready for 140 horsepower? Okay, well, it started up very quickly. I will give it that much. All right, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, six. So we have six gears. Now I've put my splitter on. I still only have six gears. All right, so it is only a six gear transmission. All right. I don't know what I expected. It's. Oh. Whoa, hey, hello, truck. Oh, you have to be really gentle with the clutch. Wow. All right, let's stop here. Let's turn that off. Bouncing truck. It's always good. She's got a, she's got a rhythmic bounce to her. All right. She does have a shadow indeed. It's, it's the darkening shadow underneath the tires that threw me. All right. Yeah, it's kind of a weird shadowing. All right, I am in first gear. That was me taking my foot off the brake. Wow. All right. Okay, got it. <laughs> Let's take this thing over. Let's paint her up a decent color, because... Jeez, she's ugly. She's an ugly one. There we go. Let's paint it properly. Paint shop. Custom, please. Custom blue. I'll go with that color. I'll keep that one. Yeah, let's let's confirm that guy. Better than it was. Let's put it that way. I'm kind of of two minds on this truck right now about the engine. But, uh, okay, so that mirror works fine. That mirror is also fine. I can't really see behind me, but I got a bed back there. That's pretty slick. Pretty slick Rick of a truck. Okay. This is going to be amazing, but we're going to we're going to try to haul a load with this truck. 140 horsepower, so I'm looking for something like a four ton load, maybe a one ton load if I can find it. Let's see what we can find. Freight market. Where the heck are we? We are here. Uh, there's 25 tons. No. 70 tons. We could Okay, so the, that's a hoof. So is that. All right, so we're gonna try Kirovitz. This is gonna, this is gonna be terrible, I think. I, I just, just getting this truck started. Okay, off the brakes, bring my RPMs up, and really, gently drop the clutch. Ooh, like driving a beat up car. All right, um, no, I'm not gonna stop. How far do I have to drive? Two hours, hold on. No, 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 no. There's gotta be something in Stuttgart that I can drive. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for two hours to pick up something. Why would, that's Mannheim. That's not even Stuttgart. Oh my goodness. All right, we're going to Zurich. There. Two minutes. Two kilometers. Uh, the bounce, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure about the bounce. I'm not really liking the bouncing. Okay. Now this is, Go. Okay, the, the the RPMs don't really match the truck. I'll say that much. Come on, light, turn green, okay. 
putt, putt, putt. Everybody behind me is like, oh my gosh, go, dude. All right, I got to see what it maxes out RPM wise. Uh, uh, okay, stop. <laughs> wow, the brakes are awesome. Hold on, I got to reset my uh, wheel here. There we go. Truck was pulling to the left. All right, I can turn that off because I have a pretty darn decent GPS there. All right, we're gonna run her up. She's in first gear. Wow, this first gear, I, I have not shifted at all. All right, so about 8,000 RPM is where she, she wants to shift. So I'm going to aim for about a 6,000 RPM shift on this thing, I think. Do we, have, we, have a, do, we do have a retarder on the truck. That's good. Oh, we need a horn. Nope, that's windshield wipers. Nope. <laughs> that was a horn. That's a funny horn. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take your uh, your timber. You know, you're gonna put it somewhere silly. From oh my gosh, the bouncy truck is gonna drive me nuts. Uh, I just I I just have to not stop. Is what it amounts to. What do we think they're, they've put our timber? Am I in first gear? I am in first gear. I think they put our timber probably behind uh, the the building. That's what they usually do to me. The timber around here. Timber? Yep, there it is. Okay. Now remember, this thing's 140 horses. We're not, we're not, I mean, my Volkswagen Rabbit has 138, 135, something like that. I don't know, 140. I mean, it's basically a Volkswagen Rabbit. All right. Okay, that's get out of that. <laughs> it's cute, is what it is. It's a cute truck. You know what? If that fan in that, if that fan in there was spinning, this would be amazing. All right. Stop looking around, mouse. All right. First gear. Remembering I got several tons on the back of this truck now. Oh boy. Oh. Uh. Okay. This is gonna be, this is gonna be interesting. Grief. Come on, baby. No. Come on. Come on. There's a sweet spot on the clutch. She doesn't have it. All right. Uh, am I uh, backed up against something? No, I'm not. All right. I just need to really careful with the clutch. Wow. Um, <laughs> I thought maybe rev it up and drop the clutch. No. <laughs> Trying to walk it on the clutch. Come on, baby. Oh, wow. Um, all right. Can I back the truck up? I can. It's the load. It's the weight of the load. All right. <laughs> what 
has happened to my truck? Oh, what has happened to my poor truck? <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, back off of that. Alright, can I make that? I can't. Alright. There. Now I got it. Oh, stop it, truck. It doesn't, it doesn't want to do that. All right. Huh. All right, so the 140, 140 engine was a bad choice on my part. So what I'm going to do, uh, take my sad little 140 horsepower engine. I'm going to run to the shops. And I'm going to get a bigger engine. Because while it's cute, the loads here in ETS2 just appear to be a little bit too much. No matter how careful I am with the clutch, she doesn't like it at all. So uh, we're going to put a bigger engine in her. Come back. See if she pulls. I think this model is mostly there. I think there's a few problems with it. Um, the largest being, uh, I'm going to dodge right in here. Woo. Uh, the largest being the, the body movement is I think too much. The way it bounces up and down. Also the, uh, that silliness when I hit that trailer. That's a little bit silly. Uh, brakes are also a little bit too much. Because it's like instant stop. Alright, let's... Uh, we'll put a... Let's just go hog wild. Let's put a 380 in here. Okay, we got a 380 in here. Doesn't sound any different. Doesn't sound a bit different. All right. But you know what? <laughs> it works better with the clutch. I can actually get the sucker to, to go. I think it's... Uh, I think those small engines, you're going to need an automatic. That's just... That's just what I think. I can actually split shift because I just did it without, or did I go for a second? I don't remember. Yeah, look at that. We're already at 90 kilometers an hour and, and rolling with this thing with the biggest engine. So the small engines, while cute, cause some real issues. Um, the other thing to be aware of is the bouncing body. That's, that's a problem. I gotta get the truck in here. Whoa! <laughs> I'm a pro driver. Alright, now we should be able... Oops. Now we should be able to back this guy up. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I wanted before. There we go. And of course, now we've got the engine about with the baseline Iveco. Understanding, of course, that this thing was 109,000 as I kidded, plus $5,000 for this custom paint job, plus an extra, what, 10,000? So probably in the neighborhood of 125,000 euro for this truck. If you want a classic, I guess it's one way to go. Hey, Volvo, you want to look where you're going? Thanks. I know I could look where I'm going, but it's the fun of that. It's it's a neat looking little truck. I'll give you that much. I think its price point is a bit high. And while I think those little engines are cute, you're going to need something other than the clutch system of the, uh, 
the G27 wheel because I could not get that sucker to to back up with a trailer. And turning hard was a problem as well. So there you go. Uh, the link to this Mercedes Benz 1519 is in the description as always. You can check this truck out. It looks like it's fun. They got rid of the cab bounce. I'd like it even more. Um, and if you're looking for a classic Mercedes Benz, well, this is a classic Mercedes Benz for your driving pleasure. Um, good luck. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Uh, until next time, I've been Dear Tappers. This has been your Euro Truck Simulator 2 Mod Spotlight, the Mercedes Benz 1519. Link is in the description as always. Until next time, happy trucking, everybody. See you in Zurich.